Okay, exercise two. That first exercise Learning that time and space for ghost notes, starting out easy. All right? Get it like a clock. You really want that base right there. That's your core. Everything else is um, built off of that. Whether you double it up, triple it up, whether you start um, instead of single beats, double up your beats. Um, everything starts from that chord. Now, <clears throat> real quick, I kind of, I was kind of doing a little reflecting there. There's a reflection video published. You don't have to watch it. It's, 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 it, it's really nothing to do with, with the chorus. It's more of a, a, a something of what it is that I want to do personally with the course. So it's not um, focused on training in any way. It's just my own reflective learning. And um, with that being said, I, was, I, I got to thinking back about when I was in high school. And um, I had always done well in school uh, uh, until I got to high school. And uh, when I got to high school, uh, I was 18 years old at the time. And um, I was, I, I didn't fit into the system, uh, quite literally. I had art class uh, that I really enjoyed. I loved mathematics, I excelled in math. Um, history, uh, I didn't have good his, I didn't have good history instruction at that time. I really wasn't interested at that time. Uh, it was, it was confusing to me. I, I didn't have really a, a grasp on the big picture of, of uh, you know, humanity over time. I could kind of come at it more globally than what was going on with Ferdinand in Spain in a certain era. It just didn't make sense to me. I couldn't place it in context. But um, that being said, what I really needed in high school was um, advanced music instruction, something that really interested me personally. Now there was music there, um, and there was theater there. Uh, as a matter of fact, Don Knotts, the, uh, if you're from the United States watching this, uh, he's a, a, a really popular 50s, 60s, 70s actor. Um, and he's from this city. And uh, my dad went to high school with him. But, um, you know, they, they had pathways into um, uh, seeking out art and learning, but um, they, they didn't have the kind of courses that I was looking for in terms of music and uh, what was really available, available alternatively than just marching in a band when, the, when a football team played. Um, something more advanced and uh, uh, more comprehensive and more interesting. So this is the class that I never had, <laughs> so to speak. Um, an introduction to you know global ideas of percussion and, and, and thinking about methodology. And um, I wish I had this class in high school. But that being said, um, for, you know, education's not a bad thing. I actually dropped out of high school in 11th grade. Um, I dropped out of school in 11th grade. And um, I had no plans on returning. Um, I was kind of like in a limbo of learning in my life stage there. And I did go get a GED, General Equivalence Diploma, and I, 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 I just blew that away. I just went and took it. And I had my diploma. And uh, so that was all right. And it was later on when I decided to go to the university. After the band scene, the early band, uh, uh, being involved with music, because that's the direction I wanted to go in in life was with music. But uh, uh, I resorted to after, you know, the initial few, uh, sort of how everything went down with music and me involved with it um, uh, with local musicians, uh, that's when I decided to go to school. So, um, but uh, yeah, this is a class I never had. So I kind of developed this course over time through my own learning experiences and of course um, understanding how to uh, gather content and convey it and instruct it. Um, 
So uh, that's why I'm doing it. But you might be wondering about, this is exercise two. Why did I tell you to push down on that snare drum with your stick and hold it down? And hold down your hi hat. Hold them down. You really want to learn that core first. Hold these two down and practice this. And then get in rhythm with it, heartbeats, etc. And so and work on that. Work on that. That's a core over here. But why did I tell you to push them down? Reason being is we're talking about psychomotor skills and cognitive development up. Little pieces of chunks of uh, how you learn. And there's going to be a section on how the brain works. If for those of you interested in educational psychology, it's not nothing necessary. But other than that, um, why did I tell you to hold them down? Because when you're holding them down, you have control of those muscles. Right now, you have control of that muscle because you're pushing it down. Now, if you didn't have control, if you just relaxed this hand and had it set, sitting on your ankle or, or, or on your knee if you're setting up, if you didn't have control of this arm over here, the muscle, you're learning this core, and this arm over here is just kind of like sitting out in the hallway, you know, if you're talking about a classroom or something. When you push down on that, you are engaging this muscle with the activity that's going on over here. So it's already learning something. It's not just hanging out, right? So what I want you to do is work from here, right? Once you get this nailed, and then relax this arm. Keep in time and start using it. You don't have to hit one, two, three, four, one, two, three, just, just start using it. Maintain your tempo over here. And then start thinking about different patterns. Whatever they may be, whether they're upbeats or downbeats, I mean, that's the ultimate way you want to go with it. You want to be able to have control of this over here. To do with it, it's an independent instrument. So you want these here to be independent, and then you want to start working with this over here. Doesn't matter what it is, you just need to gain control of this over here. Then start thinking one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, one. All on time, right? One, two, three, four. I kind of got myself in a situation here. <sighs> See this hand right here? Right there? It's broke. Again. <laughs> See that bump right there? That was a long time ago. This one right here is yesterday. It's broke right in there. Oh, I really stoved good. I don't hear any crunching this time. That all crunched for a long time. But so I've got ice on it. Been putting it on ice. Uh, this has been broke. But uh, you need to take care of your tools. And uh, so it'll heal up. It'll be all right. So I'm just kind of like that sensitive right there, using that finger. More rely on my back, on my pinky that way, or even play this way right here as a method of holding the stick between the two fingers like that and then catching it with your middle finger right there. That's a good, that's a good method right there to, to hold a stick. You got to be careful of it swaying this way and that way. So you got to get a good, you know, a nice snug fit in there. It's kind of like holding a little bird and its head's popping out. The little bird's in there and its head's, you're holding it gentle. You don't want to squeeze squeezing or hurry, but he's trying to fly away. And you're just holding him in there. Just not let, not hurting him, but you're not letting him get away either. Little birds trying to fly away. That's how it should feel. And I'm varying actually from this finger to this finger here, like that. So while my hand heals up, I'll play like that a little bit, and then get back to um, pulling this back in the match grip. Go ahead and take as much pain as I can. French a little bit, German a little bit right there. And switch over, go back. Use my pinky, use the one that hurts like heck. It'll be all right. Took some ibuprofen for it. And uh, 
you know, just have to keep an eye on it. But uh, exercise two, now that you understand why you're engaging your muscles when you're learning things, um, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of like dragging them into the classroom, so to speak. You're including them in what it is you're doing. Balance from the ground up. Exercise two. Peace.